I like how every video of mine where I'm like, you know, in it, it starts with me in the garage. The lighting outside, like, watch, watch. Fucking hell, the lighting outside is just fucking trash, but... But anyway, what's up, guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another video. I know, no shades. I can't find them. I'm fucking pissed. I can't find my shades. And I'm sick, but I've been getting a lot of comments on Instagram and on YouTube, and people are just asking, Yo, Drew, what? how much horsepower are you pushing? How much power are you pushing in the wheels? Stupid questions like that. If you guys are actually flock members, you would know, because you've seen my older videos, and I've said it like a thousand times, but... For you new people, and since I'm going to the drag strip for the first time on Thursday, I figured it'd be a good time to let you guys know exactly what I got. This lighting, man. Fuck this lighting. All right, let's just go look at the car. All right, so I just got done washing it because it was an absolute mess. But I am going to break down everything from stupid shit to actual performance mods. So starting from the exterior, as you can see, it is not a stock exterior. It has a 3D carbon boy racer body kit. You can go pick it up if you really want to. I don't know. I'm not going to link any of this shit down below, but personally, it is probably my favorite body kit for these things. I like the Roush and the Celine bumpers too and everything, but this body kit, I mean, you just don't see it that often. It's a 10-piece body kit. I think it's supposed to come with a wing also, but I do not have it, thank God. But um, bumper, flares, side skirts, and I mean, it's a good... It's a good inch or two. Nothing too crazy though, but honestly, one of my favorite things about the car is the body kit and the bumper. I mean, look at that. Fucking aggressive. Going to the wheels, we have FR500 wheels or replicas, I believe they are. They're from American Muscle. Nothing super fancy. I just got them because they were lightweight. Compared to my old Chip Foose wheels, the brake setup is still stock. Um, they're probably on the stock pads, honestly. They're probably on the fucking stock pads that were sold with the car. I'm not even fucking with you. I mean, my, my car has 40,000 miles. I wouldn't doubt if those are the stock pads. Rear wheel, same thing, FR500, deep dish though, Nitto's NTL5R tires, 315s, gotta have that meat, 255s up front, they are not NTL5Rs, those are NT555s, I believe, G2s, if any, I, I don't fucking know, I don't care about the fronts, the back or <laughs> the rears are what's important, tail lights, aftermarket 5th gen tail lights, that's a must, little lip on the back, nothing too aggressive, nothing too crazy, but I like it, it's got a nice little booty, and then of course, you can't forget about the dip or the wrap, it is dipped in Genesis Silver. Love it, absolutely love it. Wheels are dipped as well by yours truly, but I honestly love this dip. It just changes all throughout the day. Right now it looks like a silver to almost like a pinkish red up front, so I absolutely love it. We'll go to the interior now. Excuse the water dripping, but stock steering wheel, stock pedals. I'm not one of those people that put the little covers on the pedals. We do have some gauges right there. Boost gauge for the supercharger. Meth lights right there. And then an air temperature gauge. Closer look at it, we also have an air fuel ratio gauge right here. I did disconnect the boost gauge because I am doing 12 PSI and this thing only goes up to 10, so the reader just has no idea what to do. So it's absolutely useless, but um, stock supercharger is supposed to go up to four PSI, so that explains a lot. Stupid aftermarket radio has nothing to do with horsepower. I just like it. We do see an aftermarket shifter right here. It isn't actually an aftermarket transmission completely. This is a Tremec T56 Magnum XL rated for 700 foot pounds of torque. Love this transmission. We have Corbo racing seats. Love them. They hug you really snug. They're really comfortable. Weirdly enough, I wouldn't recommend going on super long road trips with them, but they are comfortable. They're supposed to recline, although I bolted them to stay fixed so they do not recline when I'm doing hard pulls. Sometimes it would do that. I don't know if that's a Corbo issue or it's my car don't know looking into the rear seats or where they would be it is completely gutted i did put this little makeshift back seat delete so you don't see straight into the trunk when i used to have the nitrous tank back there i wouldn't want to cop the seat if he pulled me over so that's my reasoning behind that and never took it down i don't really use the tank anymore so no point actually start talking about some performance mods we'll start from the trunk though all right so in the trunk we do see a water methanol tank right there it has a little bit in it i don't know if i'm gonna keep using it my nozzle is kind of fucking up I, I tried unclogging it last night don't know how it worked out but i don't know how long i'll be using it we do see some little seat belts for a nitrous tank right there we also do see the nozzle right there it is just a fogger system it is not a shot of nitrous it is i'll explain it once we get to the front but it is a fogger system if you guys don't know what that is i'll explain it i have adjustable shocks back here you can see where you adjust them right there suspension wise my whole rear end is pretty much all redone i have an h and r sway bar i have a drake muscle adjustable panard bar tokiko shocks ibach pro lowering springs look at that meat man that shit just gets me hard it's similar it's not all redone but i do have the tokiko shocks and the ibach pro lowering springs i mean you guys say i need to lower my car but honestly go out to your car and see how many fingers you can get underneath the bumper okay I can get a palm. That's it. That's all I can get. Four fingers. All right, now I'll pop the hood so we can take a look at the real goods. 
All right, underneath the hood, we can see the heart and the soul of my car. It has a Celine supercharger, built bottom end. I'll throw some receipt pictures up right here so you can know exactly what it has. I'm not gonna list off everything. Aftermarket intake, which actually comes with it. This is, I believe, the extreme kit for the Celine supercharger, if I'm correct. We do see the little meth injection nozzle right there. Honestly, not a whole lot to look at under here besides the blue colored supercharger, which who the fuck is popping goddamn fireworks? Like seriously, man, it is March. What's your deal? Anyway, under here is going to be looking very, very different coming, I don't know, hopefully soon. I don't know how tax season is gonna fuck me in the ass. So we'll see when that is all done. But under here will not look like this anymore. Big shit to come. Exhaust setup, we have some long tubes going onto a Bassani Off-Road X pipe with some vibrant resonators. Going back even further, it goes to some custom muffler deletes, custom as in I did it myself and they are shit. But weirdly enough, they sound beautiful. If you haven't seen how they sound, I'll throw in some clips right here. Like I said at the beginning of this video, this video is mainly for people that are new to my channel. The last time I think I posted a video with an actual breakdown of my car was when I had 2,000 subscribers. I remember I was all happy and I was like, I gotta show everyone my car. I gotta show everyone my car. So 50,000 now. Now you guys know exactly what I drive. You know the power about it. It's no super fast race car. It is fun though. It is a lot of fun, but coming pretty soon, I'm gonna be doing some actual big shit to it. Can't wait for that shit to come. I do need to save up a little bit more. Tax season might fuck me over, so we'll see how all that goes. And then the big quest and then the big question everyone wants to know is Drew Peacock, Andrew, how much horsepower, how much torque are you pushing with this setup right now? As of right now, I am pushing 500 wheel horsepower and 500 torque. Exactly, 500, 500, nothing more, nothing less. I mean, I've done some things here and there. I haven't dynoed it since, but I mean, we did get the muffler delete. I have been using the meth injection system a little bit more, so I don't know how it's doing exactly, but last dynoed, it was 500 foot pounds, 500 horsepower. So I am very interested come this Thursday, how it is going to do at the track. Again, it'll be my first time taking it to the track. I'm more of a roll race type of guy. I do not like drag racing. That's how you break shit so hopefully everything is secure like i said we do have the aftermarket transmission we do have the aftermarket drive shaft so hopefully that shit is solid my rear end is pretty much the only thing i'm worried about but i don't think i'm going to hook very well with these tires anyway so we'll see i love how you can see my fucking lowered control arms right there too oh yeah speaking of rear end we do have some stita rear lower control arms and stita upper control arm for the rear so like i said my whole rear suspension is ready to go front suspension is solid as well I realized i forgot to mention something i utilized this little area down here so we have the blinker here but on this bumper this used to just be a little space and what i did on both sides was i utilized them as brake cooling ducts so i have a kit where it funnels into a tube and cools the brakes from the back i did have to cut the dust pan behind there but weirdly enough it works really really well you know for some makeshift shit it works really well stock brakes and i'm able to have roll racing days like nothing so if you really want to up your brakes for the cheap <laughs> just get some uh brake ducks shit just fucking macgyver that shit to work hopefully everything goes great this thursday if you guys really want to come out there i posted it on my instagram go check that out I know, not a super crazy, entertaining video. You guys were just asking, and so I was like, all right, well, fuck it. Like I said, drag strip race day is coming up on Thursday. Why am I walking outside? I'm just getting blinded. I don't have my shades. But yeah, Thursday is coming up, and we are going to be racing, so we'll see how it does. I don't know what it's going to do. It is a eighth mile track i think i'm not sure i believe it's an eighth mile track so we'll see how it does but i'm really curious like i said if you guys want to go out and watch you guys want to come and race your cars with me and shit like that go out there on thursday follow me on instagram and go see where it's at i'm not going to announce it on the video because i don't know i don't know why not but i'm not going to anyway just a quick little video on my car i'm getting it prepped for thursday to hopefully i just I don't want to break anything, honestly. With the shit that I have planned for it, I don't want to break anything. I don't think I will. I'm not going to launch it very hard. I'm not going to do a 5K RPM launch, so I should be solid, but I really don't want to break anything. I'm really worried about that. I think I'll be fine. 
I think I covered everything about my car. I am sick as fuck right now, so I'm gonna go inside and edit this. I mean, my eyes are watering up. I'm really sick right now. I could probably make one of those like Indian TikToks where they're like crying and shit. My nose is all red too. Oh man, I feel like shit. But anyway, I'm gonna go inside, edit this video really quick, get some rest. Hopefully by Thursday, I'm feeling, why am I going that way? Hopefully by Thursday, I'm feeling really good. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and if you have questions about my car, comment them down below. If I see them, I'll try to answer them. Join the Peacock Flock, hit subscribe. Until next video, peace.